So we'll start with module one, introduction to finite element method, our introduction to the theme. So first we'll learn the basic concepts of uh, FEM, what is FEM and what is the use of FEM and where this FEM is used, okay. <clears throat> Basically this FEM, finite element method is a numerical method that is used for uh, solving problems of engineering and mathematical physics. So there are many approaches uh, for uh, solving an engineering problem like experimental approach, theoretical approach and uh, numerical approach. So this uh, finite element method is a numerical approach for uh, solving the problems in uh, engineering. So where is this uh, useful means? Useful for problems with uh, complicated geometries, loading and material properties where analytical uh, solutions cannot be obtained. So for certain problems, we cannot use analytical solutions and experimental solutions. So at that point of time, this finite element method will be useful. Like complicated geometries and there will be different uh, loadings and there will be uh, different materials like composite materials so at that point of time this finite element method is useful so the basic idea in this uh, finite element method is to replace a complicated problem by into simpler ones means you are making a big problem into a small one by dividing it into different parts and these parts are called as elements since the actual problem is replaced by simpler one in finding the solution, so at that point of time, we will be able to find the approximate solution there rather than exact solution. So we will be able to uh, find the approximate solution, not an exact solution. So this is one of the limitation of finite element method. So moreover, in the finite element method, it will be often be possible to improve or refine the approximate solution by spending more computational effort we can still improvise our uh, results by still refining or by still uh, dividing or by doing uh, some more work on that we will be able to get some nearer solutions an analytical solution involves framing the problem in a well understood form and calculating the exact solution. So for example, we know that the operation to use given a specific arithmetic task as addition or subtraction, a set of logical steps that we can follow to calculate an exact outcome. A numerical solution means making guesses at the solution and testing whether the problem is well, enough to stop. So this is the difference between analytical solution and a numerical solution. Analytical solution involves framing the problem in a well understood form and we calculate the exact solution by keeping a set of logical steps and uh, we use a specific arithmetic task such as addition or subtraction. But in numerical solution, we keep making guesses and the solution and testing whether the problem is solved well enough to the stop. Example, we have to make guesses at solutions and test them to see how good the solution is. This involves framing the problem and using a trial and error across a set of candidate solutions. So in finite element method, the solution is considered as a built up of many small interconnected subregions called finite elements or in general they are called as elements. So as an example of how the finite element model might be used to represent a complex geometric shape 
uh, we'll explain you considering the milling machine as shown in this figure. See, in this figure A, we can see a milling machine. So, this is a complex structure. So, this we are dividing it into different parts. We are splitting it. And each and every part is called as an element. Each and every part is called as element. So, this complex structure, we are dividing it and we are making it many simpler elements for our problem solving to be easier. So, this is how we make finite element. So, general description of finite element method. So, what is the general description of finite element method? So, in the finite element method, the actual continuum or body or a structure is an assembly of subdivisions, many subdivisions and these subdivisions are called as finite elements or just elements. These elements are considered to be interconnected at specific joints called nodes or nodal points. So, these are connected to be at the points called as nodes or nodal points. So, the nodes usually lie in the element boundaries where adjacent elements are considered to be connected. We will just show an example. So, let us consider this as an object. So, this is an object. Okay. So, first what we have to do, we have to divide it or we have to discretize it into different parts called as elements. So, let us consider it, I will make it as three parts. Means, I will make it as three elements. How do I make it? I just, I will make it three elements. So, see, I am making it into three elements with three different colors. You know, three different colors are shown for representation. Okay, three different uh, elements are there. Okay. Now, these are the elements and these elements has to be connected by what? Nodes or nodal points. In general, we call it as nodes. In our uh, FEM, the regular, uh, nothing we use it as nodes. These elements has to be connected by nodes. How do we connect it? See here. This is the nodes. These are the points where these nodes are represented. So, at this particular nodes, we find the displacement stresses and strains which are represented in a structure or a body. So, this example is shown by just taking a simple object into consideration and dividing it into three elements and uh, we are showing the nodes and at those particular nodes we find the displacement stresses and the strains. So, same manner many complex structures and the complex uh, bodies are divided and they are analyzed for displacement stresses and strains at a particular points and these points are called as nodal points or nodes in general. So, next is discretization process. What do you mean discretization process? In general, discretization means here, means dividing the given structure or a continuum into or a problem into smaller regions called element. So, in general, discretization means dividing the given uh, problem or structure into different parts. So, model the body by dividing it into many smaller bodies or units, finite elements, interconnected at points common to two or more elements called nodes or nodal points and are boundary lines or surfaces. So, this is same as what I explained you previously by referring a, an example. Discretization means we divide the given structure or a problem into small regions called elements and these elements are interconnected by nodal 
points or nodes at their ends. Let us take the example of this apply to the hole, which is subject to tension at both ends. Okay. So this I am discretizing means I am dividing into different number of parts. So the n number of parts, each and every part is called as an element, and the elements at their ends are connected by nodes. So this is a beam which is fixed at one end, and this beam it is discretized into different elements. You can see here. So in general, discretization means dividing. So you can see here clearly shown. Play to the whole discretized beam which is fixed. Discretized, divided to different parts. Each and every part is called as element. 